So it's Sunday morning, the Sabbath, just a little after seven in the morning. We had quite a grand sunrise this morning. I didn't see the exact sunrise, but I sure saw the gorgeous sky after that. And as I was, I think this is the first I've seen those. Is that Indian paintbrush? I wonder. It's a Western flower. As I was out there in the parking lot of the compound, the dogs just took off by themselves and came charging up here. And then I followed them up here. I've been agonizing about what happens when I leave, which could be as soon as tomorrow or maybe Tuesday. Postway will get me back on the road. And I'm the only one who gives them love around here and the only one who takes them for walks. So I've worried about what's going to happen to them when I leave. But this walk also, they barely saw me head in this direction and they all raced out here where they love to hunt instead of lazing around, being listless and frustrated and depressed. And sniping at each other in the parking lot. What if, by the time I leave, that habit of heading out here towards the orchard and the fields gets so ingrained that they continue to do it without me because they did it without me this morning. They just took off. I don't know what was the signal, but one of them headed up this way and the whole pack went, including my magic who's now very much part of the pack. Very exciting thing. I think it's possibly the only time he's ever experienced that. So that would be a great legacy, wouldn't it? That would feel really great if they, <laughs> they are hunting bear pounces like magic does. Was that bear? These bears out there. Which, what was the other dog that pounced? Maybe it's a bear. No, bear's out there. I don't know. No, that was bear. Bear, bear is the big hunt. Bear is much like magic. He yelps almost in pain when he's got a signal and he's on the chase, and he pounces like magic. Very interesting. And those two have gotten quite tight. It started with the big boss dominant dog, very unpopular here. I was told right away he doesn't belong here, he just showed up. Of course, that's how all the other dogs got here pretty much. But Josue said, no, just throw rocks at him. We don't want him around here. Well, he's turned out to be such a good dog. So affectionate, there he is. So affectionate, really loves me to death. And the day after he pounced on Magic, I don't think he hurt him, but roughed him up. And Josue was saying, see, that's, that's what we mean. He's no good. Well, that evening, I gave him tremendous love in the doorway of the car, and he responded by licking my face and licking Magic's face. And the next day, up here in the field, when he went to lick Magic's face, Magic really snapped ass, basically to say, uh, by the way, Jack, that was not okay. I'll have no more of that from you. <laughs> and, and there was no more. Bear got the message, shaped up, and those two are little lovebirds at this point. Guy was out here with a weed whacker the other day, really making this very Extremely nice to walk through the parts he's done. And it was an amazingly quiet weed whacker. Those can be so incredibly noisy. But this one was not. And none of the dogs barked at him. None of them were afraid of it. None of them barked at him. It was quite stunning. And did he also line up this firewood here? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I don't really have 
of a way to get out in this corner. My path is just a little back this way. Miles, what breed does he look like? Some, certainly he looks like a hunting dog. Hound, hound of some kind. Great hunting dog and all mouth. Barks, chases cars like none of the others do. They're, they're starting to follow him. <laughs> and nips in a way that I find precious and irritating. And he's the one I think who knocked me down this morning. They just flooded me. They, when I come out in the middle of the night, when I went out last night, they became a sea around me. And then again this morning. And they inundated me so much that they actually did knock me down. I don't fall much, I have good balance. Call the puppy Snoopy. This is the one that gets beat up by everybody. But there was a great thing this morning. Right after, right as I was yelling at Lily for not much of a abuse of him, but definitely some. This puppy's mom, who I call Sweetie, because she's so mean, but sweet to her puppy, she came over and totally flattened Lily. Had Lily absolutely submissive on the ground. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's my magic tree. It's gotten overcast. Maybe a blessing, maybe it'll keep. I think I saw a couple of days ago that it was supposed to be less hot today. Yesterday was extremely hot. Two days in a row, very hot and tremendous barometric pressure, just the air sitting so heavy. And they love to hunt in this field. Oh yeah, and there's, Lily is a great hunting dog. And those, even though she's the favorite, she is so skinny and they tell themselves the story that she's not hungry. And she is so hungry, so hungry but she gets so happy and excited out here. Are those some kind of pheasants? They're sounding to me like pheasants or something. Those birds I hear out here. I've not seen them flushed out. My dog, there's magic. Very much a part of the pack and liking it a lot. And the most athletic of all of them. He's the only one who hops up on the bench. He's the only one who feels enough ownership of me to hop up on the bench, but the only one athletic enough to do it. And it's early and not hot. And there'll be almost no traffic on the road. It's just the other side of that cinder block compound over there. So I'm, and I've got a full glass of water. I'm thinking I'll walk up the hill today and I keep wanting to go further back in towards those mountains. I've been right, just right at the edge of them. But this morning, what the hell, let's go. Spectacular Park, Los Tronconas, Parque Ecological. Me and Magic and we for three weeks, three magical weeks had a puppy in our family. We're all up there from March 16 to 18. Those videos are all on my YouTube channel. And the road to Los Tronconas is the next road down that way. And I got really clear that the next agenda on my very limited gas the rest of the month is not to go back into Victoria and see this woman I was interested in, uh, but to get up there. My spiritual life comes first. What are those birds? Show yourselves.